Today, we're diving deep into mastering your mind and overcoming mental obstacles. Whether you're a parent of a neurodivergent child or an adult navigating life with ADHD, this video is packed with valuable tips and in-depth analysis. Let's get started. Mental obstacles are barriers within our minds that hinder progress and achievement. They can take many forms, such as self-doubt, fear of failure, procrastination, and perfectionism. Understanding these obstacles is the first step toward overcoming them. Self-doubt often stems from past experiences or negative feedback. It manifests as a lack of confidence in one's abilities and decisions. For parents of neurodivergent children, this can be particularly challenging, as they might question their parenting skills or worry about their child's future. But remember, self-doubt is just a thought, not a fact. First, celebrate small wins. It's easy to overlook the little victories in our daily lives, but recognizing and celebrating small achievements can significantly boost your confidence. Did your child complete a task they usually struggle with? Celebrate it. Did you manage to stick to your routine today? Give yourself a pat on the back. These small celebrations can create a positive feedback loop, reinforcing your confidence over time. Next, positive affirmations can be incredibly powerful. Start your day with affirmations like, I am capable, or I am doing my best. These might seem simple, but they can rewire your brain to focus on your strengths rather than your weaknesses. And don't underestimate the power of seeking support. Engage with support groups or communities of parents facing similar challenges. Sharing experiences can be incredibly reassuring. You'll quickly realize that you're not alone in your struggles, and you'll gain new perspectives and strategies from others who understand what you're going through. Fear of failure is a common mental obstacle that can paralyze decision-making and action. It often leads to avoidance behavior, where individuals steer clear of challenges to avoid potential failure. This fear can be particularly debilitating for adults with ADHD, who might already struggle with self-regulation and motivation. To overcome fear of failure, we need to reframe how we view failure itself. Start by reframing failure. Instead of seeing it as a setback, view it as a learning opportunity. Each failure provides valuable lessons that contribute to personal growth. For instance, if a project at work didn't go as planned, instead of beating yourself up, analyze what went wrong and how you can do better next time. This shift in perspective can turn fear into a motivator for improvement. Setting realistic goals is also crucial. Break down larger goals into smaller, manageable steps. This makes tasks less daunting and reduces the fear associated with them. If your goal is to write a book, start with a single chapter, or even a single page. Achieving these smaller milestones will build your confidence and make the larger goal feel more attainable. Lastly, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a friend. Acknowledge your efforts and progress, regardless of the outcome. If you didn't reach your goal today, that's okay. Recognize what you did accomplish and understand that tomorrow is another opportunity. Procrastination is a significant obstacle for many, particularly those with ADHD. It involves delaying tasks, often due to a lack of motivation, fear of failure, or feeling overwhelmed. But procrastination is not a character flaw, it's a behavior that can be changed. Let's explore some effective strategies to beat procrastination. One effective technique is using a timer, specifically the Pomodoro technique. This involves working for 25 minutes and then taking a 5-minute break. This can make tasks feel more manageable and improve focus. The key here is to start small. Set your timer for just 25 minutes and see how much you can get done. Often, the hardest part is just starting. Prioritizing tasks is also essential. Create a to-do list and prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance. Tackling high-priority items first can build momentum and reduce the overwhelming feeling of having too much to do. If you're faced with a particularly daunting task, break it down into smaller steps and tackle one step at a time. Eliminating distractions can significantly enhance your productivity. Identify what typically distracts you and take steps to minimize these distractions. This might involve creating a designated workspace, using noise-canceling headphones, or installing apps that block distracting websites. By creating an environment conducive to focus, you can reduce the temptation to procrastinate. Perfectionism involves setting unrealistically high standards and being overly critical of oneself. It can lead to chronic stress, burnout, and decreased productivity. For both parents and adults with ADHD, perfectionism can be a significant barrier to progress and well-being. So, how can we manage perfectionism? Start by setting realistic standards. Aim for progress, not perfection. 
understand that mistakes are a natural part of the learning process. If you're constantly striving for perfection, you're setting yourself up for disappointment and stress. Instead, focus on doing your best and acknowledge that it's okay to make mistakes. Limiting the scope of your tasks can also help. Focus on completing tasks to a satisfactory level rather than striving for perfection. This helps prevent overthinking and delays. For example, if you're working on a presentation, aim to create a clear and engaging presentation rather than obsessing over every single detail. Lastly, practice mindfulness. Engage in mindfulness exercises to stay present and reduce anxiety associated with perfectionism. Techniques such as meditation and deep breathing can be particularly effective. By staying present and focusing on the task at hand, you can reduce the pressure to be perfect and enjoy the process more. Cognitive Behavioral Strategies CBT, are effective tools for addressing mental obstacles. CBT focuses on identifying and changing negative thought patterns and behaviors. Cognitive restructuring involves recognizing and challenging irrational or negative thoughts. For example, if you believe, I'm a terrible parent, you would examine the evidence for and against this thought and develop a more balanced perspective. The first step is to identify negative thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts that arise throughout your day, especially in challenging situations. Write them down if it helps. Next, challenge these thoughts. Ask yourself if the thought is based on facts or assumptions. Consider alternative viewpoints. For example, if you think, I'm a terrible parent, ask yourself, what evidence do I have for and against this thought? You might realize that you're basing this belief on a single bad day rather than considering your overall efforts and successes. Finally, replace the negative thought with a more positive or balanced one. For instance, I'm doing my best as a parent, and I'm learning every day. This new thought acknowledges your efforts and growth, which can significantly boost your confidence and motivation. Behavioral activation involves engaging in activities that promote positive feelings and reduce depressive symptoms. It focuses on increasing engagement in meaningful activities. One effective approach is to schedule activities that you enjoy or find fulfilling. This could be anything from hobbies to spending time with loved ones. The key is to incorporate activities that bring you joy and satisfaction into your daily routine. Set achievable goals. Start with small, manageable activities to build confidence and momentum. For example, if you enjoy painting but haven't picked up a brush in a while, set a goal to paint for just 10 minutes. Gradually increase the time as you feel more comfortable and motivated. Monitor your progress by keeping a journal of your activities and how they make you feel. This can help you identify patterns and adjust your activities accordingly. By tracking your progress, you can see the positive impact these activities have on your mood and overall well-being. Mindfulness and relaxation techniques can help reduce stress and improve focus. These practices are especially beneficial for managing ADHD symptoms. Mindfulness meditation involves paying attention to the present moment without judgment. It can help improve focus, reduce anxiety, and promote emotional regulation. First, find a quiet space where you won't be disturbed. Sit comfortably, close your eyes, and focus on your breathing. Notice the sensation of the air entering and leaving your body. When thoughts arise, observe them without judgment and gently bring your focus back to your breath. This practice helps you stay present and reduces the tendency to get caught up in negative thoughts. Deep breathing exercises can help reduce stress and improve concentration. These exercises are simple and can be done anywhere. Find a comfortable position, sit or lie down, and inhale deeply through your nose, allowing your abdomen to rise. Exhale slowly through your mouth, letting your abdomen fall. Repeat this process for several minutes, focusing on the sensation of your breath. This technique can quickly calm your mind and body, making it easier to focus on tasks at hand. Progressive muscle relaxation involves tensing and then relaxing different muscle groups. This technique can help reduce physical tension and promote relaxation. Start with your feet and gradually work your way up, tensing each muscle group for a few seconds. Then slowly releasing the tension. Focus on the sensation of relaxation and move to the next muscle group. This practice can help you become more aware of physical tension and learn to release it, promoting overall relaxation and well-being. Building resilience and adaptability is crucial for overcoming mental obstacles. These skills help you navigate challenges and bounce back from setbacks. A growth mindset involves believing that abilities and intelligence can be developed through effort and learning. This mindset fosters resilience and a love of learning. First, embrace challenges. View them as opportunities to grow and learn. When faced with a difficult situation, ask yourself, what can I learn from this? 
This perspective helps you see challenges as a chance to develop new skills and knowledge. Learn from criticism. Use constructive criticism as a tool for improvement rather than a source of discouragement. When you receive feedback, consider how you can apply it to enhance your performance and grow. Celebrate effort. Focus on the effort and process rather than the outcome. Recognize the hard work you put into your tasks, even if the results aren't perfect. This shift in focus can help you stay motivated and resilient, regardless of the outcome. Emotional intelligence involves recognizing, understanding, and managing your emotions. It also includes the ability to empathize with others. First, develop self-awareness. Pay attention to your emotions and how they influence your behavior. Keep a journal to track your emotional responses and identify patterns. Practice self-regulation. Learn techniques to manage your emotions, such as deep breathing, taking a pause before reacting, or engaging in mindfulness exercises. These practices can help you stay calm and composed in challenging situations. Cultivate empathy by putting yourself in others' shoes. Try to understand their perspectives and feelings. This practice can improve your relationships and help you respond more effectively to others' needs. Having a strong support network can provide emotional and practical support. This network can include family, friends, support groups, and professionals. Connect with others by reaching out to friends, family, or support groups. Building connections with people who understand and support you can provide a sense of belonging and encouragement. Seek professional help when needed. Consider working with a therapist or counselor to address specific challenges. Professional support can offer valuable insights and strategies to help you navigate difficult situations. Be supportive of others in your network. Offer your support and assistance, creating a reciprocal relationship where you both give and receive help. This mutual support can strengthen your connections and enhance your overall well-being. Parents of neurodivergent children face unique challenges. Here are some practical strategies to support your child's development and well-being. A structured environment can help neurodivergent children feel safe and reduce anxiety. First, establish a consistent daily routine. Predictability can provide a sense of security for your child. Consistent mealtimes, bedtimes, and study times can help them know what to expect and reduce anxiety. Use visual schedules to help your child understand and follow the routine. Visual aids like charts, pictures, or calendars can make the routine more accessible and easier to follow. Give clear instructions and break tasks into smaller steps. Simplifying tasks can help your child understand what is expected and make it easier for them to complete activities. Positive reinforcement involves rewarding desired behaviors to encourage their recurrence. Provide immediate rewards for positive behavior. This could be verbal praise, a small treat, or extra playtime. Immediate reinforcement helps your child connect the behavior with the reward. Be specific in your praise. Instead of saying, good job, say, I really liked how you cleaned up your toys. Specific praise helps your child understand what they did well and encourages them to repeat the behavior. Consider using token systems where your child can earn tokens for positive behavior and exchange them for a larger reward. This system can provide ongoing motivation and help your child work towards a goal. Creating sensory-friendly spaces can help neurodivergent children feel more comfortable and focused. Reduce sensory overload by minimizing loud noises, bright lights, and clutter. A calm and organized environment can help your child concentrate and feel more at ease. Provide sensory tools such as noise-canceling headphones, fidget toys, or weighted blankets. These tools can help your child manage sensory input and stay focused. Create a calming area where your child can retreat when feeling overwhelmed. This could be a quiet corner with soft lighting, comfortable seating, and calming activities like books or puzzles. Adults with ADHD face distinct challenges in managing their symptoms. Here are some practical strategies to enhance focus and productivity. Effective time management can help adults with ADHD stay organized and reduce stress. Utilize planners or digital calendars to schedule tasks and appointments. Writing things down can help you stay organized and ensure you don't forget important commitments. Set alarms or reminders for important tasks and deadlines. These can serve as prompts to help you stay on track and avoid procrastination. Break tasks into smaller, manageable chunks. Large tasks can feel overwhelming, but breaking them down into smaller steps can make them more approachable and easier to tackle. Keeping an organized environment can improve focus and productivity. Declutter your workspace regularly to reduce distractions. An organized space can help you stay focused and find what you need quickly. Use labels to identify storage areas and keep items organized. 
labeling can make it easier to find and put away items, reducing the time spent searching for things. Develop a filing system for important documents. Keeping documents organized and easily accessible can save time and reduce stress when you need to find something. Prioritizing self-care is essential for managing ADHD symptoms and overall well-being. Engage in regular physical activity. Exercise can improve focus, reduce stress, and enhance overall mood. Find activities you enjoy and make them a part of your routine. Maintain a balanced diet rich in nutrients that support brain health. Foods like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins can provide the energy and nutrients your brain needs to function optimally. Ensure you get enough sleep each night. Adequate sleep is crucial for cognitive function and mood regulation. Establish a consistent sleep routine and create a relaxing bedtime environment to improve your sleep quality. Overcoming mental obstacles and mastering your mind is a journey, but with the right strategies and support, it's entirely possible. Whether you're a parent of a neurodivergent child or an adult navigating life with ADHD, these tips and techniques can help you achieve greater focus, resilience, and well-being. Thank you for watching. Stay well.